Well, Hello. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. Um, as you can see, I'm a mess. <laughs> We've had a busy day. Um, it's the evening now, but as you can see from the title of the video, we are preparing for a uh, puppy. Okay. <laughs> so we get him, he's a boy, we get him next week. Um, so we literally thought we'd spend this weekend preparing um, and getting everything sorted so that mm -hmm. literally when we go to pick him up, we can bring him straight home and everything is smooth and ready for him um, so I thought I'd um, vlog the process because I know that don't wrong it's not got loads and loads but hopefully you'll like watching us prepare ourselves and prepare the house and um, puppy proof the house um, like I just thought you'd like to see it in a vlog what is that face for is that what I'm doing no <laughs> I thought I was like when I was talking you probably are. yeah I probably am <laughs> um, but yeah I thought I'd vlog the process We've been doing lots. Some of the things you might think aren't puppy related. Um, for example, we've done, well, I say we, I helped a teeny bit, but Brad did. Oh. You, I'll give you the credit. You have done the rest of the patio. Thank you. Yeah. The rest of it. All well, of there's it. still a little bit left to be done. Yeah, a tiny bit. Um, but we thought we'd get the patio done just because to avoid paddling in. Like, we're well aware that it's going to go on the grass and mud and paddling anyway just like he's, he's a puppy and he's a dog it's gonna happen just the um, edge of the slabs once yeah it's, and it's but we sharp, just thought edges hidden yeah just thought we'd um do that get that done and we've been shopping so i'll do a little bit of it it's a mini haul as you can see some of it over there <laughs> and we'll do a mini haul and we've done some things on the house um and then we're gonna sort out this living room where christmas we're, tree pine needles is there still christmas tree pine needles there God, I've not done a very good job of hoovering, have I, in here? Well, I would say no. <laughs> but yeah, so obviously a lot of you guessed um, from the last video, because I gave it away. I had some scratches on my neck and a scratch on my nose, and I was like, I get you, you can't guess what it could be that we're doing. And I was saying that this is an exciting video, which it is an exciting video, isn't it? Because you, you, we're going to be able to look back on this video. There was just no other thing you could have guessed. Yeah. But we're gonna watch, look back on this video, and literally have this memory forever mm. to be able to watch, like us preparing ourselves. And it's just been a whirlwind of like, ah, oh, quickly oh. gone because we weren't meant to get him until. No, it was a different breeder we was going with. It was meant to um, be April was getting. It's him. all legit. Everything is like it's not. I've made sure that the good breeders, the Chemical reputable, yeah. the it's it's the reputable breeders. It's nothing. I wouldn't go to somewhere that could be a puppy puppy farm. Like we seen yeah. the mum, everything bit, was yeah. was done legit, and they're lovely, um, a really nice family, yeah. Um, and yeah, so everything's good. Good if you was concerned about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought um, I'd vlog it, and it, you've all guessed. So hard not to. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't not. It was give a cat it. or a dog. Yeah, I couldn't not. Um, <laughs> like hint because i was just so excited um but yeah so obviously this is going to be this week's video and then next week's video is going to be of us bringing him home, home. um first, so, first day with our puppy first day with our little baby boy he has got a name <laughs> and we do obviously know his breed <laughs> but um, i'm going to make you wait um until god my legs are going dead make you wait until next week for that so you can meet him and his name Oh my god, you're gonna love him. He is literally. Yes. We've got him as our phone screensaver, which I'm not gonna show you, but. Oh, he's so cute. We just love him so much already. And we went to see him again um, yesterday. yesterday. Oh my god. No, no Friday. No, was Saturday. It what day are we? Sunday. We had a wedding Sunday. on Friday, so we, we don't know what day it is. Um, we, we had yesterday, yesterday should have been Sunday, but yeah. it was Saturday. Um, but yeah, we went to see him yesterday, and oh my god. Is, oh. She literally like. I literally like, oh, he's, he's ready to go. Like now. And we weren't like, expecting to pick him up until Friday, so I was just like, oh my uh, god. So the earliest we can get him is midweek. Um, Wednesday. Because I needed to sort some things out with work and also get everything ready for him. I wanted to everything to be sorted. I don't want to be irresponsible. No. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for you to watch next week's video because I also can't wait to watch it because I know <laughs> that I'm gonna experience it. I'm going to be a dog mom. I'm not going to be a dog sister like I have been all my life because mm. I love my Lady Bogey and Charlie. Mm. 
Oh, Logan. Oh, he's so Logan. Um, and Ziggy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, our, they're our babies, but they're not our babies. They're our brothers and sisters. No, our brothers, because we ain't got a sister. What? Um, oh, yeah, Macy Moon. Yeah. Macy Moon. Um, so we did have a sister. Um, but we're actually going to have a child. Our own. Our own baby. Like, I'm going to be a mum. Mm. You're going to be dad. I'm going to be able to say, go and get your dad. Where's your dad? Go back. Where's your mum? Bye. Oh, my God. Bye, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, oh, it's going to be the best feeling. Um, so, yeah, I've been talking for too long already. Um, but I thought I'd um, vlog it, like I said. I'm going to put in the clips now, what we've already done. Um, so you can see everything in the garden and um, what we're doing to prepare the house. So I'll add that to it now. So we have got a baby gate. Oh my gosh, because we don't want little boy just running upstairs without us. So we've got a black one. It looks really nice, actually. I like, I like it. Yeah, it looks smart. Ooh. Got it from Argos. So we're just mixing up some, what do you call it? Sand cement. Sand cement, ready for the slabs to go down, because we're doing down the side of the slabs, down the side of the slabs, God, down the side of the house, because we're thinking when he walks up or when we go out for a walk or whenever, really, we want to make sure that just at least this bit is done so that it's not paddling through. I know he's going to probably stand on a bit of mud and paddle that in but it's just so that it's not all of this because it gets under the nails and I know that when I've had my mum's dog Logan and Charlie obviously they like to go down and oh, I'm upside down oh wait no I'm not my camera's just being funny um we like they, they get it under the nails and all the dust comes in so we thought if we can at least just sort that out ready for when he comes when he goes down there he's not gonna paddle loads and loads in but we are expecting a little bit of mess from him which we don't mind <laughs> So it is all mixed up and ready to go. Brad's put um, some string so he knows it's a straight line. I mean, he's going to go off of the brick, the strip bricks, the tiles anyway, but he's put it there just so it, it is going to be 100% straight. Well, as best as we can, it's not got to be perfect. Can you get me that little hammer that's under the table? Yes. Little hammer. Oh, here we are. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, there's a worm on the patio. Is it? It's just like finding its way across, bless it. I'll help it. There you go. Let me let me grab this worm. Where are you trying to go? Come on. A bit weird, aren't they, worms? Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to go this way? Come on, I'm not trying to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. There you go. First one's going on. Well, the first of this session. This is the pros of having a handy, talented boyfriend. Hey, darling. <laughs> Putting it on, let's see if this fits like a glove. Oh, look at that. You are good. I'm back in from cutting the tiles. Oh my God, 
my nose. And Brad's been out there all that time. Obviously, he's doing them because there's not much I can do. Because obviously, it's just down the side. And he's putting them on and laying them. And I was just stood there. So I was like, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in and I'm going to clean. And I'm going to get all of our clothes washed and dried. Uh, and get organised. Just because, I know it is a Sunday right now. So, like, it is nice to give everywhere a bit of a clean to start the week. And obviously, with us getting a puppy... I, it just feels so weird saying that out loud on like on camera and letting you guys know um which you all guess I know um but now I wanted to just I want to give everyone just a real good clean just so that he's probably going to make a mess you know what I mean like little puppy um and just so that when we first get him there's not blooming crumbs on the floor or under the table or I can check. I just want to give everywhere a clean. I want to feel like everywhere is clean and tidy so that I haven't got to worry about that because I am obviously having time off work and I'll be able to do all things like that with him here anyway. Um, but I want my attention to be on him. Like I want, I want to soak up every single moment of cuddling, of him probably biting me with his needle teeth. Literally, they're like razors. Um, but yeah. I'm just giving everywhere a clean, so I've got all of our washing done, I've got our bed changed, I'm just upstairs at the minute cleaning our bedroom because, because we've obviously got an ensuite, um, and we're in our bedroom every night, <laughs> going to bed, um, it just seems to be the room, obviously the living room and the kitchen, oh god that made me jump, um, they obviously get messy just because we're, we're in them most, but the spare rooms and all of that, they don't really get affected in the main bathroom all i have to do is dust in here um unless i have a bath but other than that it's always pretty tidy um but our room it's just one of them things in it wherever you spend the most time it's gonna get a little bit messy and i want to dust and just clean everywhere and i know this isn't really like puppy related but i just feel like if it's done then it's one less thing to think about and I can just solely give my attention to our little baby boy. <laughs> so excited. Um, okay, I'm just gonna clean my bedside tables and hoover in here. And we've got, obviously the bed has been stripped um, so we need to put a quilt and everything back on um, and then we need to put all of this washing away and obviously there's some more washing downstairs that needs doing um, and make the bed back up and then I'm hoovering, I've just cleaned the carpet again because I always get makeup on it apparently I don't even know, see my do it, like see myself do it and then I look down one day and I'm like why is the blusher on the floor? Blusher? I don't usually call it blusher, it's blush in there but I used to call, I'm sure when you, we were kids that's what we would call it, like blusher. But it's just blush. I don't know. When you know when you say a word too many times and it doesn't feel or sound like a real word. That's what that feels like for me right now. But anyway, it's me and it getting distracted as normal. I'm going to get this done and then we can obviously go downstairs, see how Brad's getting on and do some other things for their little baby. <laughs> so yeah, that was us um, preparing the garden and um, obviously you saw the baby oh. gate. So the baby gate is in yep. and it looks lovely. We still need to get a, like a little bit of a... Um, I need to do, when I take the table down. We'll get a bit of that wood. Oh, cool. One oh. of them pieces of no, um, no wood would be good, you know, when I make that little... Yeah, I'll cut literally, I'll... I'll cut a little square. Yeah, let me show you what I mean. Paint it. Bear with me a sec, babe. Right, so we've obviously done the baby gate, as you've already seen. And I've just hoovered the stairs and gave her very clean. Um, so that is there. You would have seen me, well, no, you wouldn't have seen me clean this, but you, I would have told you that I was cleaning everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is back to me right now. <laughs> but yeah, we need to get a, like a nog of wood or something to go there. Um, but that's doing the job for now until we get that sorted. But I love it actually. I like the black. I like the contrast. <laughs> so we'll show you what we've got. Do you want to grab his bed? 
<laughs> proud dad. So we've got Amy's bed. We got this from Pets, Pets at, at home. home. We got all of this from Pets at Home actually. Uh, uh, no. No, we didn't. So we got him a little squirrel. And it squeaks. And it squeaks. It's tail. Is it tail? Sorry, if you've got dogs, that will definitely have dogs set them off. <laughs> and we got him a little bone. Um, which will probably be destroyed in... We never know. Yeah, it might not be a chewer, but from the way it's he was about... trying to nibble my double chin, unless you're yeah. coming up from underneath me. Yeah, you do. And I am, cheeky boy. I got this little ball that we can um, play with. We got um, a puppy Kong. That so it's squidgy can... one. Yeah, it's squidgy, so it's softer on their teeth. Um, I can put some stuff in there and freeze it. Um, we has got something to entertain him and we've got him a lead, like a little lead. So we can't take him for a walk until he's fully jabbed anyway. But just um, around the house, yeah. on the garden. We're going to practice him on the lead just so he's used to it. Um, but he's so cute, he's so giddy. Um, and of course we are actually going to be putting him in, in a crate. We're going to keep the crate in the living room and this bed will be going in there. Um, we want him in the crate just for his safety. Um, so he won't be in it when we're home and to be fair he probably won't ever be left on his own anyway There's always going to be someone. No, yeah, there's, there's literally always going to be someone in the house with him Like I don't think there'll ever be an occasion a very rare occasion that he's yeah. literally on his own it Might be a case like when we're back from work Because we? if we're not here your mum's going to be here and if mom, your mum's not going to be here my mum is mom but um, so. so literally there's always going to be someone with him so he's going to be a baby he's literally going to be babied um, but like you know, at bedtime, we wanted the crate just to put him in, so that he knows that he knows that that's his safe space. That's his his space to relax. That's sleepy time. Sleepy time, um, and also, so do you know, in the night we haven't got to think. Oh my God, is he ruining the sofa? Like they, they get itchy teeth, don't they? They want to gnaw. So I like, is he or is he biting a cable? And you know, that's not going to end well, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, well, if you, you turn, if you turn, I turn you put like, turn imagine it the internet cable one. Do you know what I mean? I just, yeah, but that's, we wouldn't it's, settle. Of course it's not, because it's going to be on top of the. Yeah, no, everything, that's what I mean. That's why we're putting him in the crate, just so for his safety and for our peace of mind. Um, but yeah, we've been getting everything sorted, like I said. We've put loads of security measures in place around the house. Um, just been like literally kitting the house out. Um, just to Knox. Yeah, just to protect him, to protect our house, to protect us. our belongings, protect us. Even though literally we're gonna be here. Yeah. It's just just to, peace of mind, isn't it? Peace yeah. of mind. Um so we're gonna go and get the crate now. Should we set that up? So we're gonna set his um crate up. Do you know what I might do tomorrow? I might nip to Dunelm and get him a few blankets. Like they're our blankets. For the sofa, get him some blankets yeah. so we can cuddle up. Just because he's from a litter of, um, well, he is from a litter of 13, but um, one was born sleeping um, and one got stuck, so she, the mum had to have an emergency C section, bless her. Yeah. Um, so she's been getting lots of love, isn't she, at the yeah. minute? Um, but she's doing really well, she's absolutely fine. She's had the, um, she had like a all in one body. So yeah, she had a suit on and everything. The first time we went, but then yeah. we went yesterday and she's had that off, so. Yeah, she's absolutely the fine. Must be okay now. Um, thank goodness. Um, so there's 11 of them, so I think 11 squidged into a bed. Well, did you know there were two beds now? Yeah, there's two beds. So it's they all literally squidged in. Oh my god, it's the cutest thing, but it's gonna probably come in, and even though this is super cozy, it's probably still gonna be a bit like, what? this is a bit cold, because I'm usually a being laid on yeah, or, or squished or, up to my brother or squished or up to my I'm sister. laid on someone else. I mean, so I think it's going to be a, it's a, it must be a scary thing for puppies. Yeah, but to be fair though, the lady did say he does take himself off and lie down. So <laughs> it's not, it's not obviously going to be alien for, I mean, it no, will be alien will for him be being alone. Yeah. But he's not going to be alone. We are preparing for a few sleepless nights with the crime. We're going to stick our ground now as soon as we put him to bed. And we go upstairs, we're not going to go come back down if he's crying because no. that will teach him bad habits. We're just going to have to endure the, the, endure the tears. The, yeah, the tears. Um, but it'll be so worth it when we come down in the morning and he's, he's a little tail. He's so excited. Well, when I come down. Yeah, first and day. then you can let him up and, and then bring him, him get in bed with me. Yeah. He can come and attack me and that's fine. I'd love to be, be woken up by his little puppy breath. Oh my God, puppy breath. 
It's like roast chicken. It literally, <laughs> we were literally, we left, right? I had this jumper on, not, obviously not this jumper, but a jumper a on. A jumper, yeah. And some um, leggings. And, and especially even on the first time as well. And I'm sure it probably is just puppy wee because puppy they literally wee they wee and, and then they walk through it. Rolling. And it. literally one of them's back was wet through at one point because I'm yeah. sure one had crawled over and wiped his probably todger on him. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. But literally, did we care? No. no. I was like getting mauled by these little puppies. Oh my God. And it was amazing. And we left and I literally was like, <sighs> people probably think this is disgusting, but. It just it smells, like, smells puppies. like puppies and they're it's the amazing. best smell and it probably is just wee but it smells amazing. <laughs> just to not the lie. I'll just see if um, you change the... So, yes, um, I'm going to... Should we go and get the crate? Because we've got obviously all the Christmas alcohol and drinks on top yeah. of the crate and everything inside the crate. We had it set up for Christmas, can you remember? Um, so that's probably why half of you knew that it was a puppy as well, because you'd always seen a puppy crate. It's true. <laughs> I'm not very discreet, am I? But um, it could have been incom incognito, like, it was just a crate that someone had and we were like, oh, we could do that with yeah. for storage and a table, to be honest. So we are going to get the crate now and move all of this. That's just probably just going to have to live on the floor for a bit until we that's get it. a table. That can go there. Da, 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 so excited. Da, 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 so excited. Da, 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 da. It's going to be the longest week until we get him. So we're hoping it fits through this door. Okay. Woohoo! Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? You bet it is. Right, I can grab that. Perfect. Right, I will clean the bottom of it, but we'll need to turn it around anyway. Oh, no, we don't. Brad's just sorting out some cables um, around the TV. So while he's doing that, I thought I'd just show you. Another thing we've done is we have moved all of our shoes that we keep on here because we seem to just collect them into the garage. And we've just said that we're going to, eventually we're getting like um, a console table here and I'm going to get like a long rug. Um, but for now, I just didn't want shoes here because I don't want him to grab them because I know that when I've had when Logan was a puppy, his thing was shoes. And if he could get them, he would ruin them. Um, like he'd somehow sneakily do it without anyone even noticing. And then you'd go to wear your shoes and you'd be like, what the hell has happened here? Um, so I thought it's best just moving the shoes, no temptation. And also it looks neater because just a line of shoes isn't the most visually pleasing thing for me um although i do love like trainers and stuff but just thought it'd look nicer but yeah we're just gonna we're thinking of putting your well brad's thinking of putting your playstation put on there it's like your playstation on top of the crate but we've got like some wooden um shelves that will obviously oh, it eliminates him chewing it being low level so like if it's up there and it can't get it it's probably never gonna get it, want to get it yeah no temptation yeah yeah, I'm just, I'm just seeing. that's good with me. It's just another thing that's got. That's got chewable potential. But yeah, so that's what we've done. We've kept the little light down there. That obviously is just to make it cosy because eventually we will be getting a tall light in that corner, I'm thinking. Um, but this is just the old lamp that I've had from my old bedroom. Um, and it just makes it cosy, you know, in the evenings when we don't want the big light on but we don't want to sit in pitch black. Um, it's just really nice and then obviously there's little fairy lights around that so that's got all them cables in and we're just gonna have to make sure he knows that there's nothing interesting in there and it's not allowed to be played with oh we can actually use that in the garage now back to the shoe rack yeah. <laughs> finally so this is what brad's just done put one of these um these here he can't get to them cables and right. he's got his I mean, I'll tell you. 
God, a big boy. A fair little while. Um, but yeah, he can't get to anything and that's off the floor then. So he's got no temptation um, other than that, but we'll just keep an eye on that. Um, so we can put all of this in now. His bed can go in. At an angle, or I don't think you can go at an angle. Because mm. we're gonna we're gonna have to keep a, a water bowl in here at night time, aren't we? We have done it this way, so that if I open this, there is a door that side, um, but we've done it so that his bed is like this so yeah it probably looked better that way but we want him to have space to have um a water bowl and then in the middle of the night in case he does need a tiddle and we'll put a puppy pad there or something so that he can tiddle there um and then obviously i won't leave his stuff in while it's bedtime just just to be safe but that is that um oh my god it's just so surreal so surreal We've been waiting you mean it's your so long. It's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn yeah. to have a puppy, and also we've been waiting what feels like forever for him, and it wasn't even him originally, no. and he just happened to fall into our Existence. like yeah into our life, um, and I just can't believe it. He's perfect as well. You literally you're gonna oh, love him. God. Like he is, they're gonna love him, aren't they? Comment what you think his name's gonna be. What breed he is? Yeah, I think that'd be good. And then see what you see what you. I want to see what you're thinking. If you can guess what his name is and what you breed you think he is, then you're psychic. Yeah. <laughs> Just can't believe it. It's so exciting. Don't comment, Mum, because you know. Yeah, don't comment, Joanne. You already know. <laughs> you'll give it um, away. You'll give it away. <laughs> But now you're one of the select lucky few. That now. Yeah. Um. Oh God. We're having a puppy. I'm gonna be able to hold him on my chest and. Not. Uh, not like you know. No, he's gonna be laid down. <laughs> I'm imagining. I'm, he's laid down. I'm imagining him here, laid down. Okay. I'm laid down on the sofa, and he's here, yeah, he's lying on my chest and my belly. And I can just feel him. We're gonna get him at near two days short of eight weeks, and he's gonna be bigger than. Most dogs. I don't think so. I'd disagree, but like you, you get. A dog I at, think he's you small. Get, you get a dog at eight week old, and you tell me how big it is. Yeah, maybe he is a bit, but I just I don't know. To me, I just think he's small. You get you get a dog. Like you're Logan. You're no oh bigger than God, Logan. Pencil case. Logan was tiny. Macy and Zig, they were. I think we got them at six week. They were no bigger than like a shoe. There were no like no taller than like a sugar pot. There were, you know what I mean? There's no monstrous. It's gonna be like the luckiest boy. We're gonna be the luckiest mum and dad to have him. Yeah. But he's gonna be the luckiest boy because he's gonna have so much love living here, isn't he? Yeah. And then he's, he's gonna, gonna have so many dogs. He's gonna socialise. Yeah. So have so many friends. And there's going to be so many people that love him. Enzo, Murphy, Ziggy, oh, Logan, Charlie. Yeah, literally. And then I'm going to message the neighbours. Once obviously he's been vaccinated, yeah. he's, he's allowed to go out. She Our next door neighbour loved this breed of dog that we're getting. <laughs> you did it first. I know. <laughs> I just said what he was, so obviously I've cropped that out. But our neighbours love what breed he is. And, oh, honestly, it's just going to, he's going to complete our... Not fully complete, because that's when we have human babies, but that's not for a while. Yeah, but so, like, like he's going to complete... Oh, my goodness, we're going to be a little... Oh, we're trying not. We're going to be a tripod. I am a walking tripod. You know what I mean, oh, have you ever watched that film where it goes, we're a fucking tripod? Uh, the girl next door. I love right. The girl next door, the three friends, and a tripod stands on three legs. And if one of them gets I mean, taken out, I'll the tripod honest, falls over. The tripod kind of gave it away. I know what three were. Yeah, there. exactly. Just like so they understand. were three friends. So if one's out, they're all falling. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can um, feel mine and Brad's excitement through the camera. Because we yeah. are. 
so excited. Oh, shock, shock, he's, horror. He's gonna be yeah, the most beautiful little baby and perfect timing, my, fam my camera is flashing. So I'm ending this one here. Um, stay tuned for next week's vlog because it's gonna be so much better than this vlog. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's gonna be but a, yeah. A bit hectic next week. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, and supporting me as always and for your lovely comments and interacting with me love it really appreciate it um, and i shall see you next tuesday don't forget to comment his name and breathe. yeah have a guess see what you think he is high five to the person who gets it yeah high five to you. <laughs> okay i'm going i'm gonna go it's sunday night so i'm gonna put some cookies in the oven that i bought the other night and warm them up and um chill I'm ready for work tomorrow <laughs> Hasta la bye See you later.